Our two-channel remote control system can be used to move Fagelli linear actuators up and down at the press of a button. Upon opening the product box, you will find a receiver control board, two remote controls, a four-wire cable, and a user manual. To wire this up, I will begin by stripping the wires and crimping female spade connectors on their ends. The green and blue cables are wired to the two wires coming out of the linear actuator. Please note that these spade connectors and heat shrink tubing is not included in the kit. Alternatively, you may choose to solder these wires together. Next, plug the white Molex connector into the two-channel circuit control board. We are now ready to connect power. Connect the red cable to plus 12 volts DC and the black to ground. It is very important that you do not reverse the polarity of these wires as it will permanently damage the board. You are now ready to use the remotes. Push and hold in the direction you want to move. If the actuator moves in the opposite direction than that which you intended, simply reverse the polarity of the blue and green wires. Notice that both remotes can be used to control the actuator. But if you try and use both remotes at the exact same time, it will confuse the system and the actuator won't move. If one of the remotes loses connection, or you want to use more than two remotes, you'll need to go through the following pairing procedure. It's hard to see what to do in the next step with all this black plastic casing, so I removed the case from this control board so that you can see easier. Press and hold the small black button on the side of the board until a red LED starts blinking. And then in quick succession, press one button on each of the remotes you wish to pair. Now reconnect the 12 volt power supply to reset the system. You'll now be able to use all three remotes. So far, the remotes have been in a momentary control mode. This means that the actuator only moves when the button is pressed. It's a very easy modification to convert the remotes into a latching or sustaining button control mode. To do this, I'll remove the black jumper pin and shift it to the side so that it's only connected to one of the two pins. Now reconnect the 12 volt power supply to reset the system. The buttons can now be used in sustaining mode. Notice that when I let go of one of the buttons, the actuator keeps moving until I give it a second command.